Hello YouTube, this is a video about the Asus uh, Republic of Gamers GL752VW DX71. It's a beautiful computer, although there is a major issue with it with the M2 slot. I ordered this computer, I received it, it's a beautiful machine. I bought it with just this particular configuration here. I have highlighted where it only comes with a one terabyte 7200 RPM, but they advertise it saying there's an M2 slot on it. They even on the bottom of the ad show that, hey, look at this, ultra fast M2 PCI Express uh, SSD slot upgradable. So I bought this thing, this computer, thinking that, great, I'm going to buy this, and I'm going to buy this awesome Samsung 9050 Pro, and I'm going to put that in there, load the operating system on it, and have a super fast computer that has a 256 SSD with the operating system and my programs on it, and then I'm going to have my extra terabyte for space. This is going to be a great computer because it has, you know, the new Intel processor on it, the newest i7, the DDR4, um, it's got a great display, and it has a dedicated graphics card. Uh, not the best one out there, but a, a really decent one for the $1,100 price tag. Well, guess what? The M2 SSDs do not work on this computer. And you can go to the Asus forum and see there's many people having the same problem. I would say the two main topics that I would read through is the issue with the M2 SSD here is a good article. The G This one, Samsung Computer Pro SSD, not working, new information. Um, there's many people that have complained to the customer service at Asus, but honestly, I think they have a call center or something. They're not very helpful in my opinion. A couple people on this forum said they now have brought it up and they've escalated it to the BIOS team uh, because it is now pretty much everyone's pointing the finger at the BIOS because when you put these SSDs in, the computer doesn't even recognize them. It's not in the disk manager. And if you load Windows on a, uh, on a flash drive, and uh, you load it up that way and try to install Windows that way, which everyone is saying to do it that way, that doesn't work either. I've spent four to eight hours, I want to say, well, if you include everything, eight hours now between reading these articles, trying different configurations, loading my, my flash drives and rebooting. And, you know, I just wasted so much time and I was really disappointed so much that I just returned the computer. You know, I'm not spending $1,100 and not getting an SSD that works. So I returned this computer. I tried both the 950 Pro and 256 gigabytes configuration. I also tried this SM951 256 with the AHCI. Neither of them are detected. Neither of them you can install Windows on. Um, and it was really disappointing. I really hope they fix this problem. They might in the future. Um, everyone's pointing to the BIOS that it's not you know, it's a SATA configuration and needs to change or there's a bunch of people that have different theories, but Asus really does need to, to fix that because that's a major issue. Many people are buying this laptop because they want the SSD in it and to buy, to just get a 128 terabyte SSD, I got to spend, it says currently unavailable, but it's like $1,400 when I can just spend this on this $200 and get twice as much space. I'm sorry, this one twice as much space and it's the pro it's even faster this is considered a high performance model so Asus really screwed up on this one I'm making this video so you don't waste your time as well uh, what I ended up doing is I bought the MSI equivalent to this it's 11 it's an extra hundred dollars so the MSI is uh, 1199 uh, same exact configuration the keyboard is colored versus red a couple little small things uh, the cooling systems I hear are a little different but because it's only a 960, you know, this computer isn't going to overheat uh, too, too bad as much as some of the newer graphics cards are producing a lot more heat. So, you know, um, I'm hoping that the MSI will work. I'm going to make a video once I get the MSI of unboxing and installing the SSD. Um, so look out for that video. Um, and I just, I the other thing with the MSI too, just so you know that, I kind of justified my purchase spending an extra hundred dollars was the MSI does come with a two-year warranty where the Asus only comes with a one-year so another thing to kind of consider that what you're what you're spending with the extra um, hundred dollars so to summarize don't get this computer unless you read this forum and people are saying that this problem is fixed because as of December 14th there's a, still an issue Asus is not very helpful uh, return the laptop, buy something else, because as much as it advertises there's an SSD M2 slot that works, uh, it, it is not working. Uh, I've wasted eight hours doing it, and you're going to find uh, another dozen people that have the same issue. And uh, statistically speaking, you know, it's like 10% of people that actually speak out about an issue. So think about how many other people have also had the same uh, issue. So don't do it. Uh, learn from my lesson. Uh, but I hope that you do find the laptop you want and you get it to the right configuration that you want. If you do have any questions or comments, post below. And uh, like I said, I hope you get something that's good and it satisfies uh, your needs.